Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts here. Um, doing a rebuild on a Mercarb two barrel marine carburetor. And this video here is the first part of two videos. Uh, this one uh, will be the disassembly part. So we'll take this thing apart and then we'll clean it and then we'll do the uh, second video of putting it back together. So you can see right now I'm taking the uh, fast idle cam off, loose here. So I'm doing that so I can get the uh, linkage off. Now I would suggest uh, when you're taking these things apart, take lots of uh, digital pictures with your phone or a camera. That way if you have any questions on how something goes back on, uh, you'll uh, just refer back to your pictures. Uh, I, I do that all the time, and it's, it's saved my bacon more than once. So we're going to take the top off of this thing. And in order to do that, you got to get these linkages loose. And then uh, loosen up the, take the top screws out. In case I uh, forget to mention, we got to put it back together. Uh, you you want to uh, tighten these screws up. A uh, little at a time, starting from the inside and, and then moving out back and forth so that uh, uh, you don't you don't get one too tight and then, then warp the thing. They're not warped already. Haven't had too many uh, problems with warp mark carbs at this point, like other carburetors. Some of these screws are a bit long-winded. So when you go to clean these things, you want to get some uh, uh, a can of uh, dip from your local parts store. Be sure to follow the directions on the can. Uh, and you got one one problem here on these uh, mer carbs are usually painted, so you have to decide if you're going to uh, strip the paint and repaint it, or just clean it enough so you don't have to. Uh, a lot of times you don't have to repaint it. They're usually pretty good paint on them, but uh, depends on how long you leave it in the in the uh, cleaner. You may start losing paint. Of course, you can always bead blast it, get the paint off. Now, we don't do any rebuilding anymore, uh, but when we did, we used uh, an ultrasonic cleaner, and of course, uh, most of you people probably don't have access to one of those, and they're very expensive to set up and use. So, okay, so there we got all the screws out, pop the top, and there we go. Notice that the uh, float is level to the top of the bowl. That's all you need to do when you put them back together. Let's see. Well, there's a return spring for your uh, accelerator pump. Now, th this one, uh, this Merc Carb does not have a check ball at the bottom of the accelerator pump oil. Uh, if it required one, you would have two holes at the bottom. This one only has one. The later model Merc Carbs uh, was like this one. So your Mercar may be slightly different. I'm taking the Venturi out now, taking it loose. Take note where the screws go, which screws. The Venturi has a little bit different screws. So you can see that one there is a smaller diameter screw. Okay. So take the gasket off and uh, now you'll notice all these little holes on this Venturi 
and uh, you want to be sure all of those are clean and clear. Some of them are idle vents. And uh, right now I'm taking out the uh, T out of the uh, main discharge. So the T, they're just uh, staked over a little bit to keep them in. Then there's a little spring under it. And then the check ball, you know, stainless steel check ball. Okay. So then when I say uh, the main discharge, that's when you pump your accelerator pump. That's uh, where the gas will come through. So now I'm taking out the uh, power valve. Uh, you get a new power valve in our kits. Don't know about all everybody else's, but ours kit does include a power valve. Of course, you're going to look at your carburetor. Well, you got it apart here. You can see this one's pretty clean, of course, but uh, yeah, just, there's a gasket that goes on the power valve. Uh, if you have corrosion in the bottom of your carburetor, you're probably uh, going to have to throw it away. Because if there's corrosion at the bottom, then probably your small passages are corroded also. You're going to have trouble getting those clean. So now we're taking the throttle body off. Now this one's a three-piece Mercarb. Some of them are two-piece. The two-piece with the top and then the rest of it, the main body. This one here is a three-piece. So the throttle body comes separated from the uh, main body. Now you notice there's one uh, idle mixer screw there right in the middle. And yeah, right there. I'll take it out. That's uh, that's how you can tell whether you have a Merc Carb or a Rochester 2 Jet because they look real similar to the untrained eye. So a 2 Jet would have two screws, one on each side, one on each hand, I should say. <laughs> Okay, check your screw for, uh, make sure it's not bent or scored in the tip. Take our gasket off here. Okay, you're going to check your free play, your back and forth on the throttle shaft. Um, typically, uh, you won't. Uh, these Merc carbs don't seem to wear too too badly, so I haven't I can't remember the last one I had to rebush. So unless you're getting a lot of slack, don't worry about it. Now we're going to take out the main jets, and uh, of course I don't have the the right screwdriver. Alright, went and got a different screwdriver, got one out, and here's the last one. Be careful. If you chip the edge of it, it's no big deal, it's a hole that matters, so, but don't lose them. You can't find them, new ones. You know, right there is the uh, passageways underneath the main jets. Okay, now we'll take the top apart. First the float. This is a nitrofill float. Uh, right now we don't the nitrofills have been discontinued. It turns out they don't they're not ethanol ready, so we'll get rid of those. And uh, we do have good brass floats that work great on them. Uh, there's a little 
shield that goes around the uh, yeah this gasket's got glue on it or something here. Okay, needle and seat. So when you take that seat out, make sure you get the gasket. If it's stuck in there, scrape it all off. This one's a little bit of a metal gasket. Okay. I see the shield came off with the gasket. Just remember how it goes on there. That's a splash shield, so when the gas comes in, it does splash a little of the carburetor inside. Keeps it in one place. All right, so we're going to get the accelerator pump off. And uh, the easiest way to do this is unscrew the off the shaft here. It just loosen the screw a little bit and then pull the shaft out. And remember how it goes on there. I'll probably forget and have to go back and look at the picture. Now this one's got a weird retainer on it, which I'm going to have to work on to get off. All right, so your uh, power piston here is staked over, and nothing's holding it in. Don't be prying on it. You'll break it, and you can't get find new ones. And what I'm doing here, I'm just using an awl to kind of uh, remove some of that staked metal off of it. So it'll come out a little easier. And I just push it down and pop it back. Let it pop back, and, and it'll come off, see? It'll just come out. Now, you want that really loose in... So it goes up and down really easy in there. And there's the relief hole for it. So you can spray some silk and spray lubricant in there, any kind, any brand. And we'll take off the electric choke. We do have new electric chokes for these. Okay, so we're going to take the choke housing loose. Now I'm going to suggest to you to, to uh, not take the throttle shaft apart or the uh, choke shaft unless it's corroded. So if you don't have a good reason to take it apart, to clean it, for instance, uh, then leave it together, clean it like it is, because... Uh, you take a big chance of breaking the screws, and I mean, which can all be repaired, but it's a, it's a pain. So they're small screws. They break easily. We do have screws that uh, fit these chokes, choke uh, levers, and, and the throttle shafts. Okay. I had to go get a wrench. Uh, I didn't have a wrench. Take this fuel inlet off. We'll take the inlet off and get the uh, filter out there. This one has a, one of those uh, a marine screen filter. You can see it right there inside the cap. And uh, and then there's a spring behind it. you got to have the spring. Okay. And there we go. So look for part two. And thank you for watching. We appreciate your business.